Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over, the channel where I try not to get game over. So this time in Battlefield 1 and for the next few weeks, I've decided to make a mini series of builds for each class that focus on using the level 10 weapons. I think it's safe to assume that the game devs made these weapons to be the best of each class but needing a different skill set, so sometimes rewarding higher gun skill or a slight change to start of play. So I'm going to have a look at using these in builds and see how they stack up against the other weapon choices in the armory. So let's have a look at what we've got. The Shaken Not Stirred build. Look, I couldn't think of a funny name alright and the word martini makes me think of James Bond. And just like the world's most famous super spy, which doesn't make sense in itself, you'll be making a hell of a lot of noise while still managing to get one shot kills on people. If you've seen my builds before and you took notes afterwards, you'll notice that all I've changed are the primary and secondary weapons from my aggressive sniper build, as the Martini Henry lends itself to a really similar style of play. The Henry, which is much quicker to say, acts in a very similar fashion to the Gewehr M95 or the SMLE Mark III infantry variants which makes for quite an easy transition from using many of the other sniper rifles. It's got a really satisfying level of damage from almost any range and with a really similar one-shot sweet spot to the SMLE. This sniper excels at taking down already injured opponents as its base damage is slightly higher than many of the other sniper rifles and you can manufacture this really often because not having a scope will encourage you to get in the middle of the fight. You need to have a patient hand with Henry as you only get one shot before reloading so make sure you take your time to line up the shots for maximum effectiveness. When you do hit your targets there aren't any other sniper rifles that give you the same level of satisfaction as this handheld cannon. And I mean just listen to the noise. The downsides to using Henry are thus, although you can manage a fair number of one shot kills shooting at centre mass, this doesn't seem to count for much when you consider that almost all of the other sniper rifles behave in exactly the same way. Coupling it with the SMLE's almost identical sweet spot range, its 10 bullet mag and it has more than double the fire rate of the Martini Henry, the SMLE is a much more sensible choice allowing for a far larger margin of error with pretty much the same results. For our secondary, I've chosen the C93. I've picked it because it's really similar to other pistols of its archetype. It's got the same fire rate as the MLE 1903, but with higher accuracy, slightly higher damage, and also higher control. This is by far my new favorite secondary. It handles really easily and isn't nearly as clunky and unwieldy as the number three revolver. It also acts as a really capable partner to the Martini Henry, as it too has a high base damage with a very kind range drop off. Most importantly though, it works great as a standalone weapon. With 9 bullets in the mag you can really put a lot of damage on before you need to reload. There is no doubt I'll be using this far more in the future. Both of the gadgets are the same as my aggressive sniper build with the flare gun and the incendiary tripwire. And if you still haven't got the hint yet, go and look at my aggressive sniper build video. The grenade is the impact nade chosen for similar reasons to the C93. It's a brilliant partner to the Martini Henry. Either use it to follow up on already injured players or as an opener to bring their health down enough for you to finish with your primary. For our melee we've got the hatchet because that's the one I landed on when I stopped randomly scrolling with my eyes shut. I've really enjoyed using this build. It does take a bit of time to get used to using Henry and I've actually found it's a great way to increase my effectiveness with other sniper rifles as you have to pace your shots far more than usual. I'd still say the SMLE is a far better choice as far as getting a higher score and more kills is concerned but for the sheer fun factor I'd definitely choose Henry any day. If you've had a good time then hit the like button and if you've not been here before then hit the subscribe button too. Until next time, that's game over. Peace.